Hello and a very warm welcome to SHP Financial Training and our lecture, our first ever seminar on communication skills for business, Financial English, which is a course that is opening for the very first time in October. So, just to give you a little background on who we are, we're a fairly new company. Uh, I established the company a year ago, just over a year ago. Uh, we're based in Sao Paulo in Israel, MDB. And to, to give you a bit of background on me, I have 10 years of professional experience working at Ernst & Young in the UK and also in Brazil, where I worked in the valuation team in Sao Paulo. And I also worked for the Bank of England, which is the UK Central Bank in London. I'm a CFA Chartered Financial Analyst Charter Holder and a member of the CFA Society of Brazil. I am also a Chartered Accountant, qualified by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Scotland. And I have passed two American Society of Appraisers exams in business valuation. I also have an ACCA, which is the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, Certificate in International Financial Reporting. And my degree is in Economics from the University of Oxford. I'm also involved in Toastmasters International as a volunteer. Toastmasters International is a public speaking and communication skills club or organization, and there are various clubs in Sao Paulo. I opened one of those at Benson Young to have meetings in English twice a month, okay, and it's open to people to become members or to visit as guests to find out more. All of our tutors on our financial English courses are native English speakers, and they have technical knowledge, technical knowledge of finance. I also teach the course as well as um, other teachers. So we, FHP Training, we are the leader in Brazil in the, in the preparation of professionals for qualifications that are recognized internationally in the financial market. So we are bringing those qualifications such as the CFA and ACCA to Brazil. We have online courses, live online courses, as well as classroom courses in Sao Paulo. How the live online courses work is that the online students join in as the class is happening live in Sao Paulo, and they can ask questions of the teacher and follow the class in real time. So it's not recorded. It's recorded and can be watched afterwards, but while it's actually running live, the students are involved in the class. We do that for CFA and ACCA. Currently, we're not offering that option for the financial English course, for the first financial English course. That's, this one will be presential only in the classroom. We are an ACCA registered learning partner, which we mean, means we meet the criteria set by the ACCA, which is the, the largest global body of professional accountants. We meet their criteria and we have been approved by them as a registered learning partner. We are also BPP's exclusive partner in Brazil. BPP is Europe's largest, largest provider of professional education and it's focused on accounting and finance. And our office location is right by Barrio Lima in Sao Paulo at Rua André Fernandes at 205A in Italian BB. Some photos of our training school. So you can see this is the classroom. And we have um, a kitchen area and a reception there and a, a relaxation area for the breaks and before and after classes. The, the classroom is, we have t uh, groups of up to eight students in the classroom, so we have small groups so that we can focus on each student individually. We have in-company courses as well as open courses, and we've already trained Students from Bloomberg, Bradesco, Bungie, Citibank, Goldman Sachs, HSBC, Itel, JP Morgan, Gold Trenching, and um, Gold or BRG Linus Addis. And so, if you would like to speak to any of our previous students about our courses, you please feel free to do that. And also, you can see testimonials from our students on our website. There's an option at the top that's for testimonials. Just to recap then on the training that we offer, we have classroom online and live online classes in financial English, 
Currently, the only option available for financial English is classroom course. For finance, we have the CFA Trust Financial Analyst Preparation Courses for Levels 1, 2 and 3, and those are available both in the classroom in Sao Paulo and live online for, for the whole of Brazil. And we have accountancy courses through the ACCA, Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, which are also available in the classroom in Sao Paulo and live online. And we have a business valuation course, which is on Saturdays. It's a short course in Sao Paulo in the classroom and also, again, available live online. You can find more information about all of these courses on our website or in our brochure, which is available to be downloaded from the website. Okay. We are focused on providing professional qualifications. So we, we're focused in particular on people who are already working in the financial markets or who would like to. And what do we mean by a professional education or a professional qualification? It's a qualification that combines skills with practical application and being ethical. So these are all things that are extremely important in the working world and that are valued by employers as well as clients. And you may have seen some articles that um, I've written or um, have been involved in writing in La Plática. It might be worth looking at those if you're interested in any of these um, finance-related topics. So I've written about what is business valuation, what is it, uh, how, how do you perform a valuation of a company, what is it like to work for a private equity fund or a hedge fund or in real estate, and um, also I'll, I'll shortly be, there will be an article about accountancy coming out soon. So tonight we're going to look at why study financial English, our FHP financial training methodology, teaching methodology, the course program for this very first financial English course, and some study strategies to help you in general learn or improve your English. And then we'll finish with a question and answer session for you to, to ask any questions that you have. So why study financial English? Well, you probably already know a little bit about this, but financial English, studying financial English can help you find a job in an international financial context. So if you would like to, you're thinking about working abroad maybe, this is something that will help you. That could be within an investment bank, private banking, investment funds, accounting firms, and other organizations. The multinational organizations or global organizations uh, in particular, value people who are able to communicate well in a technical way. Also, studying financial English can help you with internationally recognised accounting or finance qualifications where the exams are in English, such as the CFA programme or ACCA, where all of the exams are in English. It can also help you improve your ability to conduct business internationally in general or with clients and colleagues abroad. So this is whether you travel abroad for business or whether your, your clients are speaking with you here in Brazil, but you need to, to communicate in English. That could be by email or over the phone or in person in meetings. Um, it will help you develop the full range of skills you need to communicate effectively in an international finance or accounting environment. So this could be, for example, if you're working for a multinational company and maybe you're in the finance department and you need to prepare help to, in the group, group accounting process, you will need to speak to your colleagues in other countries in English. So this is the, the kind of thing that you will find easier once you've studied, done a focused course on financial English. And also it will look good on your CV as, uh, as having the certificate will show, which we'll give, we give to students, will show that you prove your commitment, you will prove your commitment to your own professional development. So lots of good reasons. Okay, but what are the requirements? So we, we require a level of English of B2 or above. And that's the, the level, B2 is set, is part of the European Common Framework for English levels. And it is equivalent to having the Cambridge English First Certificate, IELTS levels 5.5 to 6.5, TOEFL 87 to 109, depending on, if you look at this um, asterisk here, it depends if you did an internet-based, computer-based or paper-based test for TOEFL. Um, you can see the scores there, 
Also, the PPE 59-75 is equivalent to level B2 of the European Common Framework, EEC Vantage, Bulat 60-84, or TOIC, and you can see the scores there. So we have a short online test for people to do before their place is confirmed on the course, and that's just so that we have all of the students um, at a, 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 the same level so that it's easier for people people make get more out of the class. If you have any questions about this, please you can contact us afterwards either by email or by calling us on the, on the number that is on our website. Student testimonials. So we we have we've had some private tuition students before running this this um this financial English course, and so this is just one one student who said that the English classes are helping him to improve his financial English, which is giving him more confidence in speaking with foreign investors. He works for is a managing partner of a, a fund, an investment fund, so he needs to speak to foreign investors in order to attract in, investment and give them updates on how the investments are going, are performing. The classes are also helping him to prepare for training course in the US that he will participate in. He has now already participated in that course, and he will get more out of the training as a result of the investments making and improving his English, which uh, he, he said was, was the case when he went there. So looking then at our methodology, we have a methodology which we apply to the professional qualifications as well in, in finance and accounting, and that is learning through the teaching parts of the course, practicing through exercises, and consolidating through quizzes. And so the, this, um, this three-step process is based on adult learning methodology. Um, and it shows people learn by going back, forming patterns in them in their brains. And so the repetition that you get and the consolidation that you get through doing exercises and quizzes really helps you retain the information. This is the theory. All right. So the course program, we have um, classes which are based on real life finance and accounting situations. So this is it. Remember, I talked about what a professional qualification is. Here we're talking about actual skills which are applicable in real life, in the working environment. And we're looking at reading. So we often need to read reports or articles, understand data. Writing, for example, writing emails or writing reports or writing occasionally letters, typing them. Um, listening, so that could be during a conference call or in a meeting and speaking, so for example, in interviews or get when we're giving a presentation. Okay, and we will look at those skills as well as building your vocabulary and improving pronunciation and grammar. And you can see this pie chart shows the proportion of time spent on each of these skills, skill areas. So we've got quizzes in there as well, and approximately one hour of quizzes during the 18-hour course. We have three quizzes, one at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end. And then we have 2.5 hours, two and a half hours on vocabulary and pronunciation, and also two and a half hours on grammar. And then three hours approximately on each of the skill areas, speaking, reading, writing, and listening. Okay. And now we'll just move on and look at the breakdown of the classes. Here we go, so the class program. We've got classes one to 12. Each class is one and a half hours long, and the course starts on the 28th of October. That's 2015 at 7 p.m. So the classes run from 7 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. in Itayin BB next to Padilla Lima at Rua, Rua, Rua Andre Fernandez 205A. So we start with a quiz, and then we have a speaking, at, a quiz, and then some vocab building and pronunciation practice, and then we have speaking, and we're looking at one minute impromptu speeches in the first class. And those are on topics that you are not, you don't know, you have a minute to prepare, and then you, you answer the, the question that's given by the teacher, and that will help you with thinking on your feet and responding in a coherent way without having much time to prepare, which is very useful, for example, for interviews. 
Then in the second class, we move on to grammar. And we look at the future tense and use the present continuous and going to, which is often an area of confusion for students. And then we have a reading based on an extract connected with uh, analytical financial skills for tomorrow's accountants. Okay. And then um, in the class afterwards, we go back to vocab. So we're recurring. So every, every week or every two classes, we have a vocab pronunciation session and then um, and grammar in the alternate classes. Okay, and then we go through each of the skills. So we're mixing them up during the course. And just to draw your attention to, to some of the things that you might be particularly interested in in the course, we do some interview practice and we have some tips for, for interviews in English. We also do some work on conference calls, which people often find difficult. So how to conduct, behave in a conference call. Um, so that it can be more effective, and also strategies for understanding what is said in conference calls and how, for how to get your point across. And then we'll look also at writing emails and what kind of expressions can be used in emails, how you can write more concisely, how can you, you can avoid errors in your writing. And so lots of, <clears throat> lots of really useful things there that are that practical and can be applied in the workplace. Okay, and looking then at the course material, so the material is developed by us, by SHP Financial Training, and it is based on, on several other books, as well as our own experience in teaching people and um, our own experience in the, in the workplace. So the books are Professional English in Use, Finance, by Ian McKenzie, the Cambridge ICFI, which is the International Certificate in Financial English, and the, the workbook that they have, this, uh, this book was developed jointly by Cambridge and by the ACCA, the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. So it has lots of extremely useful exercises which are based on real world or real life examples of what we need to do in, uh, in the workplace. And then we use also the Business Grammar and Practice book by Michael Duckworth. There's some really good um, resources there. All students receive a slide pack with all of the materials and practice exercise and the quizzes in, in, the, in the slide pack, so you'll get that to keep. Okay, so looking then at study strategies, this is in general whether or not you come on the course. Just some ideas, so make sure you're practicing every day. It's just, remember I said about the, the science behind learning. Repetition reinforces patterns, which helps us remember things. So try to practice your English every day, even if it's only for a few minutes, even if it's just reading through some vocab or checking online an English, English news site, for example. So read the English language financial press, such as The Economist, The Financial Times, The Wall Street Journal, Harvard Business Review, maybe. There are some really interesting articles that you can find and you will also be improving your English as well as your knowledge at the same time. Watch news programs and documentaries in English as much as you can. Um, you probably you may be doing that already, um, but that's a good way to absorb information as well as practice your English. Then, so in terms of course details, our, our first course will actually be, there's a mistake here, um, it, 18 hours. It's 18, and it is 12 classes of 1.5 hours each. Okay. Um, the address is Rua Andre Fernandez 205A, and the course fees are 1,260 reais, which is payable in three installments of 420 or upfront with a 3% discount. And our classes have a maximum of eight students. So the first course is starting at 7 p.m. on the 28th of October. And our reservations close on the 21st of October, which is a week before the start date, or when all places are gone. Okay, so we have a limited number of places. And so if you are interested in doing the course, please sign up as soon as you can. Okay, so any questions? If there are any questions, please send us an email 
And that email can be sent to info at shptraining.com here. Or you can check out our website, which is www.shptraining.com, which has more information about the course and about us and um, a brochure that can be downloaded. You can also find us on LinkedIn under SHP Training and on Facebook, SHP Training too. Okay. Thank you for your attention and we hope to see you soon.